Salutations, everybody. It is Maddie here today, sitting down to talk about Avowed. Avowed is a game I have been so extremely anxious to see for years now that I could scarcely believe it when it graced my screen during the Xbox Game Showcase this year. You know, I think back to the Xbox Wire post following the game's CG reveal and how they'd have more to share with us soon. Well, three years passed and we finally got a look at the game. There is a lot of positive things to be said, but I also saw some negativity surrounding the game, which confused me, quite frankly. But I pulled myself out of the hype, out of the excitement, and took a second, third, fourth, fifth, objective, honest look at it, rewatching this trailer, as well as the original CG reveal, going through some of the notes that Obsidian has shared with us over the years, to really see if fans had been lied to, because that seems to be the vibe from some members in the community. Now, overall, it's a very positive reception, and I have many positive things to say. But when I saw the conversation spark up, I was like, is this console warriors, or are there people genuinely confused about this game? And I'm gonna talk about that plus much more, because I just, I've covered Avowed for years, man, to have this drop at the same time as In Exile's game, Fable, Starfield, obviously I'm up to here with things to talk about. So we're trying to just get all the conversations in and then take the deep dives afterwards. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here, you're into Xbox news, information, coverage of any kind, you're in the right place. We're going really hard right now, but you're making it worth it. So thank you so much for tuning in and for supporting what we're doing here. Avowed, let's start off with the surface level stuff. Just my general thoughts. I think this game looks wonderful. Uh, it reminds me a lot of an Elder Scrolls game, which I think is the idea there with like the one hand having a melee weapon and the other hand doing cool spells. But to me, the thing that really spoke to me and my soul the most was the interactive magic. You know, when I play something like Skyrim, granted 2011 game, but many other video games with magic in them, I, I, I see quite honestly, very little making the most of the magic. So as I'm watching Avowed and I'm seeing you, levitate enemies and bring them together in this void, lighting objects nearby on fire. This interactive nature made it look way more fun than it actually was. Now there were cool first person executions and whatnot, but we've seen that for years with Skyrim where I feel like it was evoking the right things from Skyrim while still creating its own identity. You see, the other reason I'm very interested in Avowed is because I've never played a Pillars of Eternity game, a wrong that I will write by the time these games are out, I promise you, because I want to do re-reviews for them to kind of immerse myself in the world and the lore of Pillars of Eternity, so I'm familiar with stuff heading into Avowed. You know how I roll, right? I just can't read about it online. It's like, I got to play it and spend 85 billion hours just seeing it for myself, because that's the only way my brain processes it properly. Now, with all that said, that's the reason I'm excited for Avowed is that is going to be a dive into a new look at Eora, which is the, the world of Pillars of Eternity and how they're going to capture that from originally what was an isometric RPG with lots of choices and consequence and what it translates into into this here. Because when you look at the Xbox Wire, one of the main focuses that they brought up with this gameplay trailer is choices and consequences. And if you listen closely to the audio, it's a lot about you have this power, what are you gonna do with it? And you'll see a lot of back and forth shots of you're doing a good thing, you're doing a bad thing. You're doing a good thing, you're destroying people, you're saving people. And I very much appreciate that because as a fan of Obsidian games, I love me some choice and consequence. That's not to say I didn't like games such as Grounded, but this is where their bread and butter really lies. Now for me to get deeper, I feel like I gotta go head to head with the talk of the town here, which is a lot of people feeling conflicted about the overall tone of the game. A lot of people saw the art style and went, I thought this would be more serious and realistic because based off the CG trailer we got, which was also very serious, they thought that it was gonna go for something more photorealistic, especially when you see the hand come up, one with the sword, one with the spell. It looked like next-gen Skyrim. And when you look at the art style, I don't think it's bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely different from CG. Yes, and since I started to see these conversations pop up online, I always like to deliver my opinion in a very matter-of-fact, straightforward manner, so you don't wonder what I'm thinking, right? Because that's the least I can do for y'all. But I also try to do it in a way where I'm not an asshole, because I feel like there's just already enough of that online. But it's very hard to subdue the very sarcastic side of me that wants to say, y'all, it was CG. <laughs> I mean, I know what people are talking about 
tonally, but if you listen to the gameplay trailer and the things that are going on and the actions that are ongoing on screen, I think it matches very well with what we saw from the CG trailer. And only when you watch those back to back, can you really stitch that together, which none of us seeing Avowed for the first time would have had that experience. But because so many people saw the CG trailer and then saw the art style, they were like, I was expecting more than this. And if you wanted it to look, put this in quotes, better, totally understand. But for those who felt like it was supposed to appear as it was in CG, uh, that's unfortunately uh, a wake up call to a lot of people because you know the, the point of CG is to sell the idea of the game. And I feel the idea was conveyed well into gameplay. It captured to me the same tone of you have power, what are you gonna do with it? and that these lands are plagued and you're either the source of saving it or destroying it. That's why in the gameplay trailer, they say, we are afraid of you because you can do anything. And the trailer captures this, you're like a chaotic breeze blowing through Aora and you can handle it however you want. And to me, that was sort of what was set up in the first trailer where it was like, these lands are sick. And you see it's very like war torn. That's all they know. And I, I have to just call it out and say, I feel we're being extremely rash in some corners of the internet on judging this game solely on the merits of an art style, which isn't even bad. It's one thing if the game looked ugly, but it doesn't. And as far as I'm concerned, granted, many of you know this, but the biggest stickler for graphics. And for me, I'm gonna take a page out of my good friend, Ty Guy Travis's handbook here. I'm not gonna totally claim this is my original thought, but I thought it was a great tweet, which is, you know what? A lot of these fantasy worlds are overly serious in the terms of their visual tone. I'm thinking of Elden Ring, for example. I got my fill of the very super serious, I put this in quotes, hyper-realistic in the terms of art style design that we got in that game there. That is to me one of the best open world RPGs we ever got. It was a top three game of the year for me. It landed at number two personally. Uh, it, it is a phenomenal game. So many fantasy games such as later this year, we get Lords of the Fallen. Another more hyper realistic, grueling type of fantasy RPG. To me, it's kind of fun to have a fantasy world that seems to take itself serious in narrative and in choices, but is fun and colorful to look at. It reminds me a bit of how I felt in the Outer Worlds. The splashes of color are so appreciated because I gotta say, I remember during the 360 PS3 generation, one of my biggest complaints were worlds almost had a filter of blue over them constantly. Nothing looked super colorful. It was blue or it was brown constantly, unless your art style was very cell shaded, something like Borderlands, then you get more diversity there. So I really get excited when I see color splashes and nothing here is so over exaggerated in color, maybe in the lighting, if anything, maybe in some of the color grading, I don't think so, but I could hear the argument on that where I feel like it doesn't disrupt the overall tone of the game. The other thing some people are concerned about is co-op. Is this a co-op video game? I can't say for sure, but I'm not against it. I'll explain why it may not be co-op. When you go to the Xbox Wire post, again, this is, I'm not trying to be condescending. This is why it's good to read before posting the comments. A big focus is about companions. They talk about extensively, here's this companion. He's one of the first you meet in the game. He's gonna help you walk through the living lands of Eora and they list some of his skill sets and whatnot. And you see in the trailer, people following you around. And my guess is much like we saw in say The Outer Worlds where you had two followers running around with you, that these are the companions that are gonna be joining you. And it may very well just be a single player game. Now, what we have to consider is there were rumors and reports of potentially there being co-op. Here's why I'm open to it, but I do wanna see it in action. And I do wanna know if it's gonna disrupt the choice and consequence nature of the game, which I am personally very excited about, is this goes back to, well, it's Obsidian Skyrim. I love Skyrim. I play Skyrim every year. Therefore, I kind of don't want to just double dip into the same thing twice, but with a different company. When I say that, I mean the companion focus would be a big differentiating factor for me because it looks like a major component of the gameplay based off the trailer. But the other thing that really spoke to me is if it is co-op, that is a big separating factor that makes Avowed 
to me, on a gameplay level, more appealing than Skyrim, where Skyrim, I'm sitting there like, okay, I, I wanna play online with my friends with this mod, but the mod breaks all these quests because the game was not built with multiplayer in mind. I imagine if it were full multiplayer, it would have been in that Xbox Wire post, but I'll still hold out my judgment. For now, I think what we saw were companions and that it is gonna be a single player game. So I just feel this game is the product right now of a lot of assumptions. And that doesn't mean that it's gonna end up being amazing if I'm right, or it's gonna be bad if a lot of people online are right. But I just feel like the conversation got immediately muddied for this one. And I'm not talking Fable level where it's like, yeah, that trailer mm, wasn't crazy about it. But you know, with, with Avowed, I feel like they showed a ton of gameplay. And, and strangely enough, I, I've seen online a lot of people saying, I wish Xbox showed more gameplay. And I was tabbing through the whole list. I'm like, everything that I could think of of note had gameplay. So I don't know what we were missing there, but in a, when it comes to first party, Avowed was definitely one of the few to have straight up raw gameplay and showing it all out. So I gotta say, when it comes to this one, I was really happy with what I saw. I love Obsidian. We have no reason right now to doubt them, certainly with their output from the Outer Worlds, to Pentiment, to Grounded. This team's been firing on all cylinders. So that's the other thing is I feel like we can give them the benefit of the doubt that we can scarcely give other companies. That's not to excuse dumb mistakes or whatever, but this isn't one, this is an art style. And I feel like the tone of the narrative was captured really well from trailer to trailer, but I don't think people were willing to listen to that. And when you look at the Xbox wire post, I think it does settle down some of the concerns. But overall, I'm not here to tell you you're wrong for how you feel. I'm just here to express some of my thoughts. And for those who were expecting it to look like a CG trailer, again, not trying to talk down to anybody, but we, we gotta like check ourselves for a moment here because that's, you know, it, it should represent the gameplay, which we all we saw was this sword and the spell in hand. And in that regard, it did represent it. <laughs> but again, I, I, I try to be fair with this type of stuff and I don't wanna come across like a complete douchebag. So. Hopefully you understand what I mean by all this. And I'm curious as to your thoughts on Avowed because again, I know this one seems a little more contentious than I personally anticipated. Maybe it's what people wanted versus what they got, uh, which I'm certainly sympathetic to. But ladies and gentlemen, fire away with your thoughts on Avowed in the comments down below. I'm super excited to see what you're all thinking. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below. And a big thank you to all the patrons, all the members, who continue to support the hell out of the content here. Stay sexy, stay active, I love you all. Peace.